All right, guys, welcome back to Geekly Review. Yeah, so next segment this week, we're talking about Arrow Season 1. Yes. Here we go. Yeah, so let's go over it. So basically, Arrow Season 1 starts off, you know, kind of the same old um, hero origin story. Oliver Queen, he is the Green Arrow. So, uh, trapped on an island, and then he gets off the island, and now he wants to correct the wrongdoings of his family, basically, throughout the entire yeah. season. Yeah, he loses his father, so, and <clears throat> who reveals to him that every, yeah, I mean. Yeah, so he gives him this little which, black book, which he now feels obligated to knock, to cross off every single name, which means kill. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> every single name in that book. And he meets some friends along the way, and yeah, that's. Basically, Arrow season one. The whole yeah, just over over view synopsis. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are your what are your takes on Arrow season one? Man, dude, this dude, season one of Arrow was fantastic, man. It's one of the best. I mean, okay. I mean, first of all, I mean, it kicked off this entire universe. Now, I mean, they've got it, uh, yeah. It was the foundation of the entire CW DC universe. Now you got Flash and Supergirl, Legends, uh, everything now going on. Um, Season one of Arrow is probably one of my favorite superhero season TV series ever. Yeah, it was. It is so good. It was crazy good. Um, You know, and it. I just. Man, I love. I love how just so they break. You know, I love how they break down. I mean, just in the initial like the format of each episode right mm-hmm. like because we all know from the comics you know that's his origin thing right he was this bi- a billionaire billionaire playboy yeah he gets trapped on an island marooned on an island for mm-hmm. five years bunch of crap happens comes back with a new sense of green arrow he comes or, back a badass essentially. yeah and so this this season now established okay are they going to do every episode with like a little bit so it's going to show some of the, oh, so what, you mean like the present day and the flashbacks? Yeah, yeah someday, that was the cool. The flashbacks, and so I mean you, back then, like when it first started, that was awesome. That was a whole a cool way of like showing yeah. everything. Kind of like Lost. If you guys have seen Lost, it's a little bit of play like that, to where you get to see how they're doing, you know, in present time on the island, and then you have flashbacks of their life before they're on the island. Yeah. But this is kind of different. So this is where you have present day with him being back into his normal life after being on the island, but then you also get glimpses, and he's of alive. The, you also get glimpses of what he was doing while he was on the island, and right. yeah, so it's 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 cool how you get to see how he became what he was. I did like that part. Yeah. That was awesome. Um, really cool origin story for for a network show. Yeah. Um, and then it just keeps going from there, man. Um, yeah, one of my favorite parts is the uh, the Black Archer. But yeah, Merlin, man. Yeah. So that, that was yeah, an awesome. Merlin, character. one of his one of his major villains, mm-hmm. I'd say. Um, Malcolm Merlin is the father of his uh, best friend. Yeah, Tommy Merlin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he plays one of the coolest uh, villains, I think, on TV. Yeah, man. John Barrowman, um he kills it in this yeah, one, man. He's, yeah, actor. he's uh you know, this great pull into this into this whole series. Uh yes. one of my favorite parts about this whole season one of Arrow, which definitely separate season one of Arrow from the rest of the series is how dark it is how yeah wrong. gritty it is wrong, yeah, wrong. Gritty, it, yeah. it doesn't hold back it it is like foot on the accelerator from episode one all the way into the end of the season and it's like i said raw just dark yeah, they take and off um just, just scratching off people man not 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 afraid to kill at first you yeah. know like that's what he um just honestly kind of awesome i know killing's bad but it was right and obviously cool the character gro- like in the comics he obviously grows and gets out of that yeah. and does it and and you know and we'll get to the later seasons later on but yeah, yeah. but this first one man it's just hardcore it's just raw like it's great for, and for a cw show too like you know yeah kind of that really. reputation uh you know, just some cheesiness like yeah. little things like that but which it's yeah, but this season did not show that. No, not this first no, one. No, this first man. season was so um, good. They learn everything. Um, then that... you meet John Diggle, who's yeah. his partner, which he's also a great character too. He fits well with Oliver Queen, and their relationship, their chemistry is solid, I feel. Oh, for sure. They talk off each other well, and then you first meet Felicity Smoke, which in this season I really liked her a lot, actually. Felicity, yeah, back then she was just new oh her character out, was perfect role. in season one like she her Nerdy. role she mm-hmm. fit in well with her role they, they they created for her i think she did a damn good job yeah i agree 
the character kind of like said the chemistry was good with all three of those characters when they first introduced them. And then the one gripe that I did have when I first watched season one of Arrow was Roy Harper. Mm, I don't okay. know if it was the casting or kind of how they introduced him. I did not like the character at first. He grew on me. Yeah, he grows on me. I mean, on. and you don't really, in this one, you don't really get any of the whole trying to eventually go into the red. You know, his sidekick type of speedy? thing. Yeah. Speedy? Or yeah. Well, it's supposed to be speedy. Spo- yeah. 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 He calls that his, his, that's kind of reserved for his sister, I guess, in this show. But yeah, that's her nickname. Um, but yeah, usually it's Roy Harper, but it's just kind of his beginnings, like just kind of his in mm-hmm. the. Yeah. He'll, how he becomes obsessed with the hood, which is called the hood, actually, in season one. Yeah. Which is kind of a cool take. Yeah, he wasn't it's not, initially it's not called the official Green Arrow. Yet. No, he just called the hood. Um, yeah, so I, I, I loved season one. Yeah, that's one cool. And then they introduce other, you know, main characters from the comics. So you're like, you'll, um, you'll the Huntress, Huntress is in this is movie. In this or in this, not the movie, but in this show, the, the season. TV show, yeah. Um, so the they Huntress is in there. her um, in a few episodes, I mm-hmm. think. Uh, Deathstroke is introduced. And Des- yeah, so that's Slade part. Wilson, cool. you get to meet so, Slade Wilson in his past. In his past. Um, and he's not really Deathstroke then, no, not like yet. Like, there's another guy that kind of wears, like, the beginnings of the mask. And yeah. then the, he, Slade Wilson, ends up kind of... Mm-hmm. But you do in, get introduced to Slade Wilson, yeah. Huntress, like Ma- I said, Ma- 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 Harper. Manu Bennett, oh. though, also perfect casting for yeah. Slade Wilson, man. <laughs> if, you, if you guys ever watched Spartacus, uh, he was great in that show. Mm-hmm. as Crixus, but he comes out as Slade Wilson in this show, and it's awesome. Yeah, it really is. Um, yeah, so you almost be kind of starts to kind of become the little mentor uh, in the first oh, he's basically season. Is like, that, he ends up becoming that. Yes, if he does. No, I think the uh, the man who saves him on the island is the one who basically... More is, so in the first season? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Uh, I almost forgot that guy's name. I know his daughter was Shadow. Yeah, his daughter Shadow. I can't Shadow. remember his name. Um, but he's the one that becomes Oliver Queen's basically trainer in the first season. In the first season, right. And it's just really cool to see how he develops, how he grows on the island to become what you see in present day. I, I, I did like that was awesome. Yeah, it was. It's yeah, really cool stuff, man. Um, yeah, so I, mean, I, I can't really think of anything else that bothered me for this. It's really good uh, action. I, I, I mean, like I said, it has no, a choreography is good. Choreography is great in um, this one. Mm-hmm. Um, Stephen Amell. I mean, we can just talk about him oh, just no, in Stephen general. Amell in season uh, one of Arrow is so good. Yeah, he comes off as a beast right away. Yeah. Man, that dude's that, that's something I'll never. You may be. <laughs> start to see it fall towards later seasons, kind of becoming more cheesy, trying to be like a little happier. Yeah. But season I mean, we'll, one, we'll, yeah, we'll no, get there. You but... don't. Season one, you get none of that. Season no. one, you get just angry, brutal, badass Stephen Amell as Oliver Queen. It. Yeah, I love season one of Arrow. It's so good. Yeah, man. I mean, so yeah, I recommend this. To stakes anybody. are get stakes get really high. I mean. Yeah, yeah Merlin, plot's good, story's good, acting's good, cool. action's good. Um, a legit story too, like with Merlin, wanting like the undertaking, to oh, kind yeah. of like take out, out the kind of the city is almost kind of like a Raj Al Ghul ish. Oh, definitely Raj Al Ghul. Yeah, 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 yeah Raj Al Ghul like feel to it, to where he, yeah, he just wants to demolish what he feels is the evil part of the city and yeah. start build from from there. So yeah, I mean, like I said, the story there's no flaws, kind of a Thanos man. type, like very understanding viewpoint of why he right. wants to do what he does I mean, he has his reasons and because and and, yeah and the fact that he's so well with the or he's so connected to the family man like the merlins and the mm-hmm. queens they are so the so connected i mean they basically grew up together mm-hmm. and then he's like oh now he's, he's like this bad guy he's out of face too yeah so you do have so... that like personal relationship they have outside of their alter egos and yeah so that kind man. of plays in with the whole drama of them fighting you know, within the masks. So. And which then continues on, too, in later seasons. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, you guys, season, uh-huh. Arrow, season one, amazing. Yeah, man, for sure. If you got, like, don't don't be warded off because it's, like, a CW show. If that's, yeah. like, if you haven't watched any of these shows yet, and, like, that's kind of, because that's, like, your thing, don't, at least with the beginning parts of these scenes, like, Arrow, yeah, like, Arrow, Arrow season for one. sure is worth checking out. Most definitely, you guys. Yeah, but I mean that's yeah that's basically yeah I think that's all we had to talk about for this one you guys so all right you guys that does it for season one of Arrow so remember to like and subscribe if you want to see videos just like this one yeah and again like always please comment down below if uh, use anything you we missed or anything that you think is uh, we should be talking about uh, let us know.
All right, guys. So next video, we're talking about the uh, Ninja Turtles Batman mashup comic book. So remember to hit that, hit that alert button if uh, you want to see notifications about the videos we upload. Yeah, definitely. Follow us on Twitter. Also, remember, it's at Geekly underscore review. So again, thanks for watching.